Hello guys, this is Shubham Bharadwaj. Welcome to Salesforce Geek channel. This video is about flows like uh, we having a scenario which is populated over the screen you can see and made these specific conditions which are prerequisite for this video. Uh, so first you have to create the following fields and customer object like as mentioned in the screen. Now after getting after getting all these fields you have this kind of interface on your customer object when you creating a record you will see all these fields over there so now i will go to my flow and create a flow the scenario is when i created or edited a record i ha i am i am having a account and contact itself created in which contact details the details are filled over the customer object gets into the contact object okay so simply uh, when we created or edited a record basically a contact and and a account is created so for this we have to go to setup and we invoke our flow through process builder so first of all we create a flow click on new flow so here we have to choose auto launched flow because we want to invoke through it through the process builder so first of all we have to get re create records or through from first getting the create record we have to create a variable of our customer object so create a variable over there like uh, where customer data type is simply record and object is customer Uh, now this in this variable is available for input now click on done now simply go to elements and choose a create record and drop it into a screen now give it name so create account first of all we have to create account now we have to how many records we want to create uh, one one account we want to create and uh, here you have to use use separate variables resources and return values now object is account you have to choose so in account we want to we want the company name of the customer we want customer we type over the company so the company field the the value of the company field will populate it into the account So account name will be the company name of the customer object is a name and here we choose our variable where customer now company and store account id in variable we have to create a account id so that we can link our account and contact together so we have to create a new variable here uh, variable simply type it name Account ID. Now 
um, simply click on data type so text will be the data type we will provide description for our better use so here we type uh, store account id now click on save click on done now we have to give id here the account id and simply click done so our account create account is simply now similarly we have to create record for contact now click on create contact simply Object, we have contact object. Now fill these details. Here we have to give the account ID. Now here we have to give account ID like where we use the variable in which we are having our account ID. Now last name is the mandatory field like in previously in account object uh, we give the name like name is the mandatory field in account object so similarly in contact object last name is the mandatory object or necessary so here we give uh, where customer dot name uh, title we provide where job title company email where customer Simply with phone number. Simply click on done. Oh, sorry. Uh, now store contact ID. We don't need the contact ID variable as it is not mandatory in our scenario. So simply click on done. Now click on assignment. As you see, there is a lookup field account. Like when we enter the details on customer object, you will see that there is a uh, account object. Uh, account lookup field so in account lookup field if you want to populate it you have to create an assignment uh, assignment and set account value now simply here we populate populate here we populate the where account ID simply click on done now we have to update our records so simply click on update
satisfy condition so so use the ids and all field values from record variable or record by collection variable now here you have to give the record variable like we created where attend where customer so simply click on done now our flow all the parameters will be created now we have to link them like so first of all we have to uh, our account is account is get created then through account id contact get created after that we set the value of account to field and then we update our record so simply click simply on save So our same same with same name contacts. We simply change the name. Now our flow is get created. Now we have to activate our flow. simply click click on our flow and activate it now our flow is activated now we have to invoke this flow through process builder Now click on new. Give the name account and contact. And choose the process start when record changes. Save. record is created or edited simply click on save add criteria when our status is mm. so simply give a criteria criteria like uh, status field customer status equals to a very strong Do you want to execute the action? Uh, we want to execute the action only when specified changes are made to the record. So simply click on yes. Uh, now click on save. Now in actions, we invoke a flow. Action name update. provide a flow variable here we our customer now provide select select the customer record now we'll simply click on save now our process is get ready now we have to activate our process confirm now we will manually check our customer record whether it is get executed correctly or not so for that we have to go to app launcher and select our customer record customer object now simply click on new and fill out the mandatory details like customer name is shubham 
much. Customer status is very strong. Like M I E T. Sales force developer. Click on save. Now you will see that account is get created with the same name with the name which we provided in company. Like account is M I E T. We did not get we did not fill our account lookup field over there. You will see that company the field company we provided in our uh, uh, customer object it's itself get populated into account now for the correct working we have to check for contact like our contact with the name shubham bharadwaj is created shubham bharadwaj and account name is mit it's also get created so guys this video is that's it uh, if you are having any doubt please comment below uh, and let me know whether it is helpful or not and if you have any problem regarding understanding this concept of flow you can contact me all the mandatory details are, i am providing in the description box so thank you guys thank you very much for watching